back to another video guys as you guys just saw there nathan's already riding uh he got a new bike so he's pretty excited and he's gonna go test some stuff out and try to make some changes uh i know it's a little bit windy but just bear with me here and uh travis is gonna be here in a little bit so we're all three gonna be riding and it's gonna be a good day of riding so i hope you guys enjoy this video we're all geared up and ready to go and now i gotta go try to talk nate in to let me ride this bike of his but we'll see looks pretty good right now all right we're headed out here all right so we're gonna follow nate around the track here a little bit see if my motocross skills can keep up all right well i guess we're going first never mind that. That was weird, a rock got stuck in my brake pedal and I didn't have any rear brakes. What's up? Triple out. I don't think that'll work. Well, I don't think you're gonna be able to jump. You may be able to like wheelie. So Nate's gonna try to triple from this little bump or double from this little bump into there and then triple out. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but cuz that's barely even a bump, but I don't know. We'll see if he can bunny hop it. That's close. A lot closer than I thought it was. Oh, sketch. Kind of swapped on that one. I got out. Little sketch. Powerhouse. Is that right? <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright, we'll see what happens on this thing. Alright, so we're on Nate's 350 right now. Let's see if I like it. Man, she likes to be rev for sure. I'm not used to all the torque on just snappiness, you know? It's really not that snappy torque compared to the 450. Yeah. Just like around the tight turns when you're trying to just roll on it. Yeah. And the two stroke is like, doesn't start out with anything. This thing is just like, and you're going, you know, you don't have to clutch or anything. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty sweet. It does. I, at first, I was trying to just lug it around and stuff. And yeah, I was using my normal for 50. Yeah. But this thing, this thing definitely likes to be twisted.
Okay, so apparently Nathan got cone valve forks. So we may be doing a little bit of a comparison between cone valve and uh, air forks here. My initial thoughts on the regular air forks, I liked them. That's the only KTM stuff I've ever ridden. But you do notice the small chops and just the small bumps is what I really noticed on them. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty light, nice and flickable. Uh, we'll see what the cone valve does on them and see if it kind of fixes that. But overall, they're not bad. I didn't even know it until just now, but Nathan has cone valve spring forks, so he's gonna put those on. We just rode it with the air forks, and so he's gonna put the cone valve on it, and then we're gonna go ride it again, or at least he is, I don't know. He'll <laughs> let me ride it again, but we're gonna ride it again, and then we'll let you guys know kind of what the thoughts are on the cone valve and if they're better or not, so stay tuned. Air forks, cone valve. All right, we got the cone valve on. Time to go ride. Let's get it. All right, we are headed back down the hill now and Nathan's gonna try out this cone valve. Wow, I really just cased the crap out of that. <laughs> what do you think of the forks? Can you tell the difference? Yeah. Really? They feel more planted. Oh yeah. Air felt like they danced a little bit. Oh yeah. I wasn't leaning very far in that corner with the air forks. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can really lean it in there and trust it. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to be riding the 350 with cone valve. Can't really tell just getting on it any difference, but... We'll see what happens when we start hitting bumps and stuff. So. Golly, I cannot get used to this engine brake. on these ones is man do they stay planted a lot more there's no bouncing there's no kind of kicking your front tire anywhere if you're in a rut and there's chop through it you're still gonna stay in it you don't have to kind of worry about it you know bouncing out or anything this is just gonna stay planted all the way through and you're not even gonna feel those bumps through the rut um, and through the ruts and stuff is the biggest thing that I noticed. I didn't notice it too much in straight stuff. Um, and then just coming into corners was kind of the other big thing. It just like I said, it just stays planted all the way, all the way through, and you can predict absolutely everything. So to me, cone valve, yeah. It's really good, but if you have the money, I say get them. But if you don't, then it's not a necessity for sure. Before I forget, I want to tell you guys that I got some big plans coming and some good videos that should be made from them. So I hope you guys are ready. It should be good. Take a guess down below in the comments what you think they're going to be. Just got home, got done riding with the cone valve and the air forks. I know it started out just being a regular riding video and kind of turned into a comparison video. I hope you guys gained some knowledge kind of with me comparing and then a little bit of Nathan's thoughts in there too. Thank you, Nathan, for letting me ride your bike, testing out stuff, fun day riding, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and then be sure to subscribe. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.